Professors, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the BAFTA's Princess Anne Theatre. sort of domestic situation in a town called Lyd in Kent and she walks to a very bizarre um, sort of desert sort of landscape um, coastal town called Dungeness in which she meets sort of an older man in which she kind of alarm bells ring and worry that she's going to be um, sort of you know, taken taken by him but those stereotypes put to rest and they develop this relationship through their sort of feeling of loss that they have together. I definitely think the sort of relationship that I built with all my sort of fellow year, fellow members of the year and just continue to make more films with, with them really it's totally like my next generation of filmmakers lie in the people that I've graduated with. I'm really excited that we're here at the end of our degree, our three years that we've all been together and uh, my film is called Soledad. It's about um, um, a Spanish lady that uh, moved to Spain during the Franco regime and um, now that she's old, she goes back uh, to the memories of, uh, of those times in Spain and they're projected within the British landscape. We're eventually going to be paid to uh, express our own opinions and express our views and it's, like a, it's a bit of a noble job because we're going to be speaking for people who don't have a voice. And in a world that already has like a lot of miscommunications and misunderstandings, to put something out that's dishonest is a real crime. Uh, Sea Night is a film about a loss. It's about this man, Michael, that is grieving for the loss of his lost lover, who died a couple of years before. And through a dream sequence, he's able to overcome a regret that he had. I think I worked through this film thinking about how death can be portrayed not as a complete, sad, or opaque thing, but as vivid it can be through the dream sequence and through the memories that can, it can you know, evoke. I don't know, I have no idea about the future. I think I'm just going to try to keep on producing my things, trying to work with ideas rather than big budgets, and then, and then see how it goes. A little bit of a strategic choice of mine to hopefully go back to Edmonton, be a, be a big fish in a small pond, but at least be a big fish that knows what he's doing. Um, there's not many film courses back in my uh, city that really have the skill that London College of Communication has. So uh, I'll be coming back to Edmonton, I'll uh, be putting myself forward and hopefully I'll be a little bit uh, uh, ahead of the game uh, with my age and my experience and uh, putting myself out there.